Hello, welcome back. It's Saturday the 26th of October 2024. Just come to the brew shed this more uh, this afternoon, sorry. Been here all morning, give it a good clean. Needed a bit of a sort out on the tool section, that end over there, uh, making a bit of space. And so I've just asked if we're doing anything tomorrow. Not nothing in particular, so I've been given the green light for a brew day. And it's going to be the Kolsch. So, um, I was just looking through the recipe. So, we're having 3.23 litre batch again. 3.8 kilograms of Pilsen. 480 grams of Hannah malt. 380 grams of Dextrin malt. 220 grams of wheat malt. 200 grams of rice hulls and 140 grams of dark Munich malt, 44 EBCs. Um, 60 minute boil, hop additions are 87 grams of Tetnang, uh, their whole leaf, and 2.3% alpha acids. And ten, last 10 minutes of the boil, 13 grams of Tetnang. Now, I've just gone through what I've got left in the hops, got loads of hops. That I need to use really so but I've got I found some pearl I think there might be about 18 20 grams in there and what was the other one sapphire so we'll probably utilize them pop them in somewhere as well um, with this one two different um, uh, yeasts so we're gonna go for the WHC Apre Ski and Fermentis K97 uh, I've never done a Kolsch before, so we'll go with that. So that's what I'm um, planning on brewing tomorrow. I'll set up, get all the waters done now. I'll put my um, uh, the main water in the B40. Um, ready to get up for, for a strike in the morning. And I'll also put some sparge, put the salts in as well leave them overnight and um, yeah the grains have actually been weighed out they're all in the bucket ready to rock and roll um so yeah i'll just crack on with this get this sorted out and then uh should we go for a beer yeah let's have a beer two ticks right all the water's done um everything's ready to go tomorrow morning I've actually put the timer on, ready for um, strike temperature. So 16 hours and 50 minutes and 25 seconds to go. And yes, I have accounted for the clocks going back. Take care. Let's get a beer. Here we are with the five step mash Hefeweizen. Really is cold. The chiller works perfectly here in the back. So uh, let's dive in. Let's let's get one in. Wow! Oh, that is beautiful. Really, really stunning beer. So I've just put some YouTube on. Catching up. With Homebrew Wednesday 123, catch up with a few bits I've been buying. Yorkshire Homebrew 001. If you're not subscribed, which probably you all are, get involved with this guy. He's great, great vlogs. So, I'm going to catch up um, with some vlogs this evening. Um, again, banished here. Strictly's on next door in a bit anyway so uh got myself here I'm trying to bring the cardigan back in style I'm trying to set an old trend again <laughs> so yeah it is uh drawing in isn't it it's getting a bit colder now you can you can definitely feel it um we've had some few days of strong winds and rain and it's uh, taking this effect on the trees most definitely leaves all over the place so trees look bare so when winter is upon us I'm 
yeah so i'm looking forward to um promising a bit of rain later on here but tomorrow is another sunny day hence um the Kolsch brew day so i'll be cracking on with that so uh i've got this tonight the five step mash hefeweizen just looking at the board there oktoberfest my nephew next door has just whatsapped me anything on the tap so uh, he's taking an Oktoberfest um, and I've got an oatmeal stout on there as well with um, Anna Pilsner the version 20 Nipa still in the conditioning room up in the brew shed um, I'll try and clear some kegs here I've got four kegs uh, in the bar so I think the Pilsner's nearly gone to be fair um, and the oatmeal stout uh, that was the older version not Otis um, that one's still there that's kicking around there's not much left in that either so let's see if I can do damage this evening but yeah well that didn't work out um, as expected I thought I'll get the Pilsner on try to get that um, keg to finish I got about that much and the keg kicked so that didn't work so i had to go rush up to the brew shed get the nipa v20 i've just uh, cleaned the lines put the new one on letting that settle grab myself a stout just a small little glass uh oatmeal stout four percent uh lovely tan head on it i don't know if you can see that guys really uh Fluffy, bit of chill, here's on the glass there, condensation, dive in, Ooh, really multi this one, oh yeah takes time really doesn't it for the ton to adjust from a hefeweizen to something like this a dark malt beer um chocolate all sorts of things going on yeah it's another lovely beer Another lovely beer, what can I say? I think with these stouts, the dark stouts, I think the longer I leave them in the keg, the better they get. Uh, with this Nipa that I've just put on, I'll have to get onto that quite quickly and get through that. So I like to drink it quite fresh because of the hops in it. But uh, I'll pour a beer in a minute. So uh, yeah, this is a great pint. Um, just saying I've <clears throat> decided not to keep much grains in stock like I used to I used to keep a lot of grains um, and uh, it's just like I thought what's the point really I'm going to try and just um, especially with the malt miller as it is now uh, I can just order the full grain pack or the grain bill as one unit as such and start building a store of beers that I'm doing so I can easily order them again and just once they come brew it think of another beer and brew it again I think that's the way forward for me really and I'll be totally honest it gives me more space in the uh, in the shed as well so I can keep more stuff instead of those plastic tubs seems to be a lot of waste um, there really and um, if I'm not using all those <clears throat> speci speciality malts um, I'll have to try and get rid of them so right, you get Apologies, rudely interrupted there. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's a lovely stout. Great head on it actually. Just needs a couple of swirls and it comes back alive again. And hangs around for quite some time 
so enjoy this and uh, continue watching Yorkshire Homebrew uh, he's talking about doing something with a bit of coconut and that's uh, brew a bit wreck it's your fault <laughs> cheers see you in a bit guys and here she is the V20 with my own hop additions it, it's a blinder it looks fantastic aroma is unbelievable pineapple grapefruit so tropical I'll be rushing back to do that one pretty soon actually because this this cake's not gonna last that long it's a bloody unbelievable beer mm. yeah so um what I'll do next is I'll get a bottle out from the fridge of my guilty pleasure and I'll show you what that is don't tell many people that I drink it but I do I'll see you in a bit Yechida. right then what is this beer my guilty pleasure it's impishly zesty with a citrus burst which is absolutely true hobgoblin session IPA 3.4% that is it guys local Asda here in Llangemni I think it's about a quid quid 50 a bottle gets a discount for four um, I was given this during the, ooh, this, when I was off during the summer period and I thought bloody hell what a great beer I'm, I'm not going to knock it guys it's a great beer ideal for a sunny afternoon 3.4% just pour that aggressively bags of flavour in that clarity obviously it's a macro beer at the end of the day isn't it but clarity is fantastic really citrusy and zesty as they say can't knock you guys but after this I'm back back on that V20 so for now guys I'll see you hopefully this head will survive tomorrow morning when I have to wake up and make that grolsch that grolsch that Oh, sorry. Right. Take care. Yechida.